Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. My name is Sonali, if y'all are new here. And I just picked up some Vera Cruz breakfast tacos and some tacos because they were just, they just sounded too good. We couldn't pass them up. Shall we do a taco unboxing? Yeah, I did fish first. Get out of the way. It's a little weird in the morning, but. <laughs> it looks good. That avocado looks really fresh. Mm. What's My that? Avocado? Mm. Pastor. This one's egg and bacon. This is like potato, eggs, bacon, beans. It is a couple hours later. It's almost like 2 p.m. And I decided to redo my media kit because my old media kit, I mean, it was fine and all, but it was just not the aesthetic vibe that I want to portray like in my brand. So I actually went ahead and DM'd like all these random brands. Well, not random. The, like I've always saved brands that I want to work with in an Instagram folder, like the Instagram saved folders. And then um, I was planning on one day reaching out and like asking them what is their best email to send my media kit to so they actually responded pretty quick um not all of them responded but some of them did most of them have like those influencer programs on their site and they always say due to the high volume of people wanting to work with us we will only reach out if it's a good fit and then you know that means it's probably like not gonna happen but i feel like it's worth a shot and i might as well just like put myself out there because i feel like i have grown a ton in the past couple of months so Please send it your positive vibes. So I'm actually doing my media kit on Photoshop, but I was kind of like researching some media kit templates and I saw that Canva had a lot of free ones. So if you guys are like an influencer, micro influencer, whatever, if you need a media kit and don't know how to use Photoshop, then definitely hit up Canva. Um, because it's pretty much like a Photoshop, but definitely more user-friendly. Ryan is obviously still working from home, and he actually stole my office chair ever since he started working from home. I finally made him go get his office chair from Oracle, and I just have been so productive this week with my office chair and being a and being able to sit at my own desk because usually I would just sit on my comfy couch, which obviously there's no complaints there because I love working from the couch, but I definitely felt like I was you know, kind of getting a little sluggish at like 2 to 3 p.m. Um, but now I feel like I just like get shit done at the desk. So it's it's a good feeling. If you guys are interested, I'll link this chair. And I don't know if I have the link to the desk. Um, I think both of them are from Wayfair. So I'll try to find the links for both of those. I really like the chair, but I feel like I've just been sitting down for too long. And I feel like my butt is getting flat. I don't know if you guys know what that feels like, but it's just not a good feeling. So... I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna make some matcha. Yesterday, there was this coffee truck that came to us. It's called Bandit Coffee. It's in Austin, Texas. It's literally a food truck, but for coffee. And I had the most yummy matcha ever. And it wasn't a matcha latte, which I thought was really interesting. I am actually lactose intolerant, so it was nice to not have like the milk because usually people don't have like soy. Well, I feel like it's definitely more of a thing that they won't have like just milk. But anyways, it was nice to like have that refreshing drink. So basically it was like mint, lemon, honey, matcha. I don't know what else. I don't know, but we're gonna try to attempt to make something like that. Obviously we have to have some matcha. So this one is actually from Amazon. I have gotten this restocked like twice already. It is sweet matcha. Mm. What's the brand? Maybe that is the brand, Masha Outlet. I don't know, but I'll definitely link it down below. It's really, really good matcha. I'm just gonna mix it up in this frother thing, even though it's not really frothing it, um, but it's just an easy little mix. So I'm gonna add a little water. And then I think I'm gonna do two scoops of matcha. And we're gonna let that froth or mix or whatever. I actually just planted this mint leaf like the other day. So I'm gonna get a few little leaves off of this plant for my drink. Gonna juice some lime. I already put the mint in there. Oh wait, what is a lime? This is definitely a lemon. Time for some honey. Time to try it out. It's actually really not that bad. Really good. I think the honey needs to mix in a little, but that probably will not happen since I did not even like heat it up or anything. I just like put it with uh, ice water. 
No, that's really good. Let me know if you guys try this concoction. I'm pretty sure at the coffee truck, they definitely put like lemonade in it, which made it really good. But honestly, I'm very surprised. This is amazing. I love mint in any drink. I think that's why I like to make those like little virgin mojitos so much because it's just... It's just such a good flavor, it's so refreshing. So I paused on the media kit for today because I wanted to put on makeup because I'm going to dinner anyway. So I thought I would do some content. I just filmed my Amazon favorites part two and then I actually filmed quite a bit of TikToks which I'm kind of hyped about because I feel like I never put on makeup throughout the week and for you to be consistent on TikTok, it's like three posts a day is like normal and I'm like, who is the time to make all these freaking TikToks? Ever since I posted that one viral video about my Revlon hair um, dryer brush thing, I literally gained like a thousand or more um, TikTok followers. So I'm like, wait, this is this might be something. And honestly, my sister has always told me that I should have gotten on TikTok like a long time ago because it's just easy to go viral and to get followers. And then those followers can transfer over into Instagram and YouTube and then just grow your following in general. If you guys have a small business or want to be an influencer, I'm telling all my friends they should definitely get on TikTok, try it out because they have a way better chance of going viral on TikTok than honestly any other platform. It's currently 5.30 and I'm going to go to dinner with my friend Taylor at 6.30. So I have about an hour and I think I'm going to clean up the living room unpack my stuff from yesterday because i um went shooting with taylor just like you know shot a couple of outfits here and there and i just filmed so i have to put away all my equipment but i wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day this dress is from misguided it's a maxi and it's like that wrap dress style and i love it because you can adjust the waist and it makes you look really snatched um, and it's like this green color. I feel like it's not really showing up that green on camera, but it is a green color And now I have to pick out what shoes I'm gonna wear, but we can worry about that a little later I'm just gonna clean because I want the house to look nice for when I come back home I just parked at Taylor's we actually aren't gonna do like our shoot like we did yesterday just because we weren't Really feeling it, but we're gonna just shoot like our outfits that we're wearing to dinner We're going to Gloria's and I love me some Gloria's. It's like a Latin cuisine. I get like chimichurri steak It's super bomb, but I kind of wanted to tell you guys some of my crazy stories about uber I don't know what month this was maybe in January but at this time, I didn't have my job after college. I was unemployed. I was trying to kind of like hustle, get money any way that I could. I was doing freelance photography and videography, obviously. But since I was new to the city of Austin, it was very hard to get clients because, you know, it's, it takes a while to kind of establish your brand here. And in every city, it's like that. So I decided to try out Uber and kind of just see like what you know all the hype was especially being an uber driver and i have some funny stories to tell you guys i mean at the time they weren't so funny because it was very scary but okay let's start from the top so i finally like got accepted um i had just gotten my car registration in texas i finally got all the paperwork done and so i was shooting a wedding that night and i obviously wanted to do uber driving during the night so i was thinking i could just do it like on rainy street and sixth street and just kind of be around downtown so the first guy i picked up he was super nice he honestly set my expectations really high because i thought everyone was going to be like chill cool nice whatever when i dropped him off i realized that i never started the drive i never told the uber app that he was in my car and i was like driving him to the place so i did not get paid for the first one i felt so dumb about that one but the next time i picked someone up i think I'd, i don't remember how many rides i did in that night maybe like five or six and i honestly don't even remember how much i made or if they even paid me like what wait i should probably check the uber driving app because i bet like money's just sitting in there i honestly just wanted to do it for the experience and to see how much money i would make but in the end i really didn't think it was worth it especially because i do have like a nicer car it's a 2012 cadillac srx and i want to keep it as long as possible so i feel like i don't want to drive as much if i don't have to so anyways um back to the stories of the people in my car so the next round of people that i can remember were a group of probably like post-grad people or college people or whatever and there were like three boys in back one girl in the front the lighting's getting weird <laughs> the girl in the front was super nice but the three guys in the back were not 
as nice they just kept making comments like under their breath about my driving but i guess they didn't realize that the roads here in austin at least on riverside are terrible and especially if you're drunk they do not feel good but they thought i was like driving bad because the roads were like so bumpy so those people were probably my rudest that got in my car but at the end of the day it was fine like they're just you know being boys i guess i saved the best for last <laughs> you guys are gonna die but i had a couple in my car they actually ended up being from atlanta so they were really cool um the guy was like in the movie industry and i was like whoa that's so cool because i was like a radio television major blah, blah blah small talk whatever and while i was driving i went down a one-way street and i was freaking out and I was trying to keep it cool so they wouldn't notice, but they definitely noticed. And they were honestly so chill about it, thank God, because it would have been really embarrassing if they like reported it or like, I don't even know if that's a thing, but it was just honestly so embarrassing. And I just was like, okay, that's it. I'm not doing any more Uber drives for the night. And I ended up not doing it ever again. I just didn't find it worth it. I heard that you can make more money off of Lyft but I'm not sure if that's completely true. I haven't really done my research. Like I said, I just kind of want to experience being an Uber driver for a day. So that is today's story time. I'm actually parked at Taylor's house. So I'm gonna walk in and we're gonna go to dinner. I'm here with Taylor. Hi. On our way to Gloria's, we're gonna shoot our outfits really quick and then have a yummy dinner with some drinks. I'm starving. Yeah, I need a drink. <laughs> Me and Taylor decided we're gonna <laughs> we go to We changed sushi. our minds. <laughs> cause she was like, I don't even know what you said. Why'd you bring no, it up? No, cause we were saying, oh, I said the last time we parked down here, we oh, were walking. Yeah. Remember we walked after and yeah. we went to, when we went to Sushi Janai and we were yeah. trying to find a parking spot for Gloria's, yeah. the Mexican restaurant. Cause like also Friday, Mark's queso yeah. chips sound good. Yeah. And then I was like, I, the second I said Sushi Janai, so Polly was over. like, we're leaving. <laughs> like go, we need to go there. <laughs> so now we're trying That's, to hope it's open. Yeah. Cause I feel like, um, yeah, they were open like during COVID, but then they randomly closed down for a while. So moment of truth, please, please, please. It's coming up. I just, I just can't get my heart broken like that. I mean, someone's standing outside. It's oh, open. Yeah. Oh, that little boot. So we put our name down at Sushi Janai. There was actually no wait, but we were like, <laughs> we need to take our outfit pics before we get chunky from the sushi. Yeah, we <laughs> and don't feel so hours. great. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna take some outfit pics. We found this cool looking wall with this like really cool tile, and yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> We're at our favorite place. We're so pumped. Seriously though, I literally told Taylor I was getting butterflies on our way here. But this is all you can eat and it is like $32 for dinner and you can get literally anything on this menu. You can get rolls, you can get sashimi, Stonehenge. anything. It's crazy. <laughs> Sorry. Except for drinks actually. Can't get drinks, but. It is 9.30, I just got home. I took off my makeup right when I got home. Me and Ryan did not eat the healthiest today and we feel really bloated. So we thought we would just go downtown for a long stroll. Just feel better about ourselves. So we're gonna go do that. Mm, tacos and pizza today. Oh yeah, I forgot about those tacos. Mm -hmm. 